lots of slow motion uh, movement. So the guy saw me and my knee and the target. So if his guard was too low here, I go slightly. If he was open, I go inside the guard. That was my specialty, is to destroy the kick because you go in, when you touch the guy, you start to rotate the knee and also the foot. So it's like a, like a, like a screwdriver. And that doesn't push the guy backward, that electrocuted it. And my God, I love this. So those are the great kicks. And, uh, and, and so when I came with that in America, I saw last one. They saw something new. It was like a big, it was not a, a great stone, but it was like a JCD billboard. Oh, who's that guy? Who's coming from? All that stuff. So, so you, you're this Belgian teenager who does karate and has this dream to make it in America. How did that transition happen? How did you break the news to your parents and say, Mom and Dad, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to move to the US, even though I can't speak English very well, and I want to become an actor. How did you do that? Okay, my good. Well, I mean, it's like, uh, oh, who are my parents? They're fantastic. My father's handsome, you know, and my mother, but he's a movie star. He must have camera like crazy. Anyway, my papa uh, gave me a loan. I was young. I, I left school early. I was bored. School, but school is good, but I didn't like school. So <laughs> I, I was able to do martial arts a lot. I was doing some classes. At the age of 16, I gave some classes to children. So I was already into the movement of training. This was a growing gym, right? No, 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 no. I was going to school. Oh, okay. And I was with my bicycle to school. I attached big legs. And then I did that. I had kids. You know, like Sparrow. I thought, yeah, come on, come on, have kids. It's so beautiful. And then, if I had to kids, you're learning because they move fast. And yeah, 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 I'm kids. So you find your kids. No, your kids have to go to them. They move fast. So they go to kids. I could do that, you know? You have to take advantage of every. Uh, possibility, like every, 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 uh, every problem bring a better solution. Anyway, so my father gave me money, I got a gym, the gym became very successful. Then I said, that stopped working, he moved to my gym, he became a good accountant, he was a good friend to Omasis because he has a way of living. And he did an accountability and the gym was a huge success. And then I said that, to go to Hollywood to be a movie star. You know what? Because in Belgium, and this guy came from the war, selling one flower. You know, it's like a very, a very old fashioned family, like you people immigrate, or your parents immigrate here. And I see all construction. <laughs> Those people give me nothing. They save a nail for everything, you know what I'm saying? So, same type of guy like your parents or your friends or your brothers, you know what I'm saying? So this guy said, are you crazy? It's like your son, I'm going to go to America to become a movie star. So plus he has a business, he was making lots of money. You can understand if I was, I was successful, I was making lots of money. It was the first very successful gym, was martial arts, the vitamins in the back, the milkshake, great girls, great guys. It was like a very healthy entourage and lots of machine all the way to the street. On the street, the big window, transparent. You can see through, like in America. And I took all those beautiful machines, and the girls, nice to dress, they train, and you have traffic passing by, you have lots of accidents. <laughs> <laughs> so my gym was fully packed. <laughs> I go to California, and it was a disaster because my father was very broken, but he retired young because of that. And when I came to America, well, um, it was five years or four years of hard, you know, ups and downs. You did some bits and pieces jobs. What sort of jobs did you do? Whew, I've got a bit of fancy hard, but I delivered pizza. I did some uh, limon, limon driving because of the tag was easy in America, you know. At that time, you it was great. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 25 years ago, you go to America, you can go to the Beverly Hills Hotel, you know, you just go there, and then all you put your car, not cash, not this, it wasn't open. So I was able to get a job from Hotel Nelita and other people as a legal driver. But you have to be careful because who's inside the captain, if they do some bullshit behind, you're responsible. So I was making good tips and make sure that. So I make money there, I give some massage. Sometimes a guy put more oil, I say, what? <laughs> 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 so sometimes 
sometimes you know you go and you go to the gym and sometimes it was depressing. It's not about the guy, it's about what situation. Why did that I say, make money? We talk about massage, pizza, this and that, it gets crazy. No. When I sold the gym, I took the money and I put this to the bank. Because if I cannot make with 3,000, how can I make with 25,000? So I took minimum 3,000 pocket ticket or include, and I flew with Brandon to Los Angeles, and there I start my journey with knowing that it's going to happen, not knowing and knowing. Then, of course, uh, I met the uh, Bob Watt right. person who sent me to Chuck Norris. And so on so forth. Bob Wolf, of course, into the dragon, Bruce Lee, for Bruce Lee, that very famous fight scene. Right, right. great guy. Uh, and somebody sent me to Bob Wall, who was in Oregon. It was cool. The first time I came to America, I remember that was a vision for me. I came to the airport. What, what, first of all, what, what freaked me out when I left, you know, when I, I left my country, six million people, so I see a few lights, did you fall? Who they got? I'm in the back, you know, cool. I've got my magazine, all my online all magazine, my pictures, I can know like, oh, you go. <laughs> then suddenly we come out of the cloud, and I see all Zol, the lights of Los Angeles, like a, really like a plate of light. I see the plane going to the ocean, coming back to the light, landing, landing the wind, right? So now I'm in the airport, and you have that, as I, I'm sensitive, you know. I mean, I'm strong, but in, inside, you know, I like the family, I like the mother, the father, the brother. I like, I like, I like friendship. I mean, like the candle was light, but the flame is kind of, you know, not that bright. So I come in the airport, take my bag, but something, the door opened and I saw a limousine. I never saw a limousine in my life. And I see this car passing by and she's like infinity. Because of Gordon, the airport. And then two wheels in the back. Uh, yeah, and I go outside and I go, that's my country. Uh, <laughs> I knew this country, not because of the luxury, because of the way of, you know, this limousine, the bonus eyes meeting. <laughs> uh, and then after a lot of hard work, you got, well, you learned that it's not a break, it's a rolls and extra. In uh, the movie Breakdance Electric Boogaloo. Who remembers Breakdance Electric Boogaloo? Yeah? Oh, no. Before you show them. Okay, because so we are going to show them. You don't show them. Uh, I want to show them. I have a friend, Mohammed, who, um, yeah, that's my brother, Mohammed, yeah. nice person. And he was with me, and he said, when I clap my hands, yes, you jump in the air and you show your split. And every time he saw the camera on me, he go, okay. And then when he saw an opening, you see me dancing like, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> trying to get a lot of attention. So, of course, every job, I'm above the people, they cut that in the editing room. You see the guy, you jump in. You see this guy, like, you know, like, a, like a dog who's trying to pass over, like, you know, like that. <laughs> so, we don't show that. Thank you for asking the people massage oil. Let's try the clip now. This is great. Here you are, the. Um, a leotard? <laughs> what is that? Shame. <laughs> and now the, the, the man next to you will sing in a moment. This is actually Tom Poe from Kickboxer. Correct. But we should shave his head with the cap. So there you go, you and Tom Poe on the screen together for the very first time in Electric Boogaloo. I can watch this all day. This is just fantasy. I mean, it's better, But you're doing the splits here, and I cut it out, right? Yeah, I was just me. And my wife was just me. I was just me. I look at trying to do the camera. Because you were trying to do the camera the most possible. It's sad. You see that it's beautiful. I mean, I like to see that. Unnatural. You are natural. Yeah. What did you do? It was a time in my day, like everything was so simple and had to be neutral in that thing, that become natural, right? Natural. right. Like, like when your kid, you kids play at home, like we have a scene in the living room, you come, you play the inspector, you see that. 
And then I made those movies like that, where I was neutral. And then you start to wonder if you're a good actor. Because they're saying, you know, there's a bunch of army like this and this and that. So you try to go into deep acting, drama movie, try to find a personality. <laughs> Let's go back to those good action movies, yeah. have fun, I have to train for it, right? And uh, lots of people like me, even though I did some good movies like J.C. or Jonathan Johnson, they're cool, but they want some... Uh, they want some kick up. <laughs> 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 Next roll after that, one that has a little story surrounding it, so I'll get you to clarify some of those stories. But you land the role as the predator in Predator. We've got some footage of that. What exactly happened here, and why were you not eventually <laughs> the predator? Another sad story. So, um, you said in America they have a newspaper called the Drama Love, and sorry, and it's coming every uh, Thursday. But on Wednesday, they're delivering the drama log around 1, 2 in the morning. So what I do, I go to the 7-Eleven, uh, and I wait. And the moment I wait, and I take the magazine, and then I start to look at what is going on, and I see, oh, a uh, man who has to be flexible, half alien, half human. We'll see half of my face. It's better than nothing. But first, we have to pass the test. So now, I go to Century 4, 